you saying, bro? Yo, Jacob. How you doing, dude? Alright, boys. Are you free in the next two days? Thinking of going on a wee trip to the Highlands. Please don't tell me that we're going up a mountain, fam. Let's do it. What's the plan? The plan was simple. Camp overnight in the hidden valley of Glencoe, wake up very early the next day and hike up the Bidian Nampian mountain for an epic sunrise. Sounds great, doesn't it? Well, as you might know, sometimes things don't really go according to plan. Here is a short story of what actually happened. At the beginning of our hike, we came across a beautiful river that had crystal clear water. Since Johnny is an absolute ninja, he spotted a perfect opportunity for a wee parkour challenge. A broad jump from ledge to ledge across the full width of the river. I have no idea how this guy does it. Oh my god, bro! Oh, wow, I <laughs> I wanted a bit of the action, so I decided to dive into the freezing water. And of course, Johnny followed with his naked ass. TJ stayed out of the madness and got us to film something for him instead. <laughs> right after the refreshing start of the trip, we hiked straight into the hidden valley of Glencoe. The nature here looked incredible, and due to the surrounding mountains, we did not get swept away by the strong Scottish wind. We found a perfect place to set up camp and tried making a fire with some fire starter contraption in order to look cool for the video. However, it did not work, so a simple flick of a matchstick had to suffice. Before we set up camp, we met a cinematographer from LA who we then invited to join us around the fire. It's all done in camera. <laughs> it's awesome meeting new people along the way and hearing their stories. As it got darker, we noticed a bit of red light on the clouds, so I could not resist and flew the drone over the mountain to see the incredible sunset. It was getting cold and our fire was dying out, so I flew the drone directly above it and brought it back to life. After the drone shenanigans, we decided to call it a day and go to sleep. We woke up at 3.47am, left our tent and sleeping bags behind and began making our way towards the summit. We started this early with the hopes of seeing an epic sunrise from the top. However, as it got lighter, we accepted the fact that there won't be a visible sunrise due to the thick clouds and fog. We marched on regardless. As we got closer to the summit, the path became steeper and more difficult, especially after it vanished into the snow. I'm skeptical whether we're going to make it up this section or not, to be honest. Since we didn't have crampons, we decided to go off trail and find another way to go higher. This worked for a while, until it got too dangerous and not worth the risk to continue. Fuck, that is quite high. I think this is what we're gonna call it a day. It's getting a bit dangerous with all the snow and everything. And it's very steep. Um, if we had crampons, I think it's very doable. But I think we did not expect the snow. <laughs> Even if we reached the top, we wouldn't be able to enjoy the view in all that fog. So we simply turned back, observed some deer in the wild, and unexpectedly passed out beside our tent. Although we did not get to the top and experience a beautiful sunrise, I would still call this a time well spent with the boys. Johnny, don't even start. You look like a fat cow. What are you saying, pal? Yeah, so now that Jacob's set up his shot, we have to walk past the camera. Right, those guys get... Johnny, just... right. This is this is what happens when you walk past the camera. He picks it up. I can't do the pacing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 <